YouTube world. Today we got Kyrie Irving and the big company Nike and some real messed up foul play. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for further uploads. Let's go. What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one, and tonight we're going to talk a little bit about Kyrie Irving again. Now, um, we saw that the Amazon CEO is refusing to take down the film, and he said, he says, in our society, people has different points of view, so basically anybody can take in the film how they want to, and, you know, it's on a public platform, yada, yada, yada. Cool. Um, we also saw that Nike is terminating their deal with Kyrie Irving and they won't move forward with him in the future and so I just wanted to look because since Amazon refused to take the film off then I said well surely Nike's gonna pull their merch off of the site right so I went over there and boom you scroll up and down Nike everywhere so it shows that it was never even about Kyrie's beliefs. Uh, it's about flexing your muscle on who you feel like you have authority over or who you feel like you're on a higher level than because they feel like they do a lot of sales on Amazon annually. So it would be dumb business for them to pull their merchandise off. I get it. I get that. So it just shows more than anything... It just shows the hypocrisy. One side can get away with something that the other side can't get away with. And it just is what it is. But, man, we got Stephon Mulberry defending Kyrie Irving, and we got Kyrie Irving's response. Check out what Mulberry had to say. So, let me get this straight. Nike canceled Kyrie's Irving's contract because he posted a picture online. Will Nike stop selling Nikes on Amazon because Amazon will continue to sell the documentary that Kyrie Irving posted online? Make it make sense. Then Kyrie took to Twitter. He says, anyone who's ever spent their hard-earned money on anything I have ever released, I consider you family and we are forever connected. It's time to show how powerful we are as a community. And then today, he posted a meme saying, you know, living in America. And in the meme, it said, I'm used to the hypocrisy, basically responding to the hypocrisy of Nike being sold on Amazon while Amazon promotes the film that got him dropped from Nike. You know what I'm saying? So... Kyrie also showed, you know, love to Jalen Brown for holding him down during this time of interviews and um, going at Nike and all those guys. And this is what he had to say about Jalen. Kyrie, Jalen Brown has been very supportive of you over the last couple of weeks. What's your relationship like with him? And what do you, how have the conversations been with him over the last couple of months? Uh, he's a brother of mine. Um, grateful that we have built a relationship off the court. Um, you know, true warriors when we go against each other. Uh, when I was in Boston, we didn't really get a chance to get to know each other on a deeper level. Um, so, again, I'm, I'm just grateful that we've been able to build on on top of a great foundation of um, aligning on, um, you know, just how we live our lives and how we treat people. So it's been good. It's a brother of mine. What I find interesting about that, uh, with their budding relationship, it seems like if Kyrie and Jalen Brown would have had this relationship when he was in Boston, he may very well still be there today because the it seems like the relationship – he thought he was going to have with KD in the beginning. From a conversational standpoint, it seems like they are right there with each other. So that's interesting. And it's always good to see somebody have your back whenever it's not popular. Jalen Brown made some statements that's not popular with the powers that be. So I'm pretty sure Kyrie is really appreciative of that because uh, a lot of people either chose not to speak on it or they spoke against it like LeBron did initially before he went back and um, asked him why hadn't they asked him about Jerry Jones 
So it feels good for like Jalen Brown was consistent the whole time in his support for Kyrie Irving. And I'm pretty sure for him, um, that really elevated their friendship to a whole nother level, man. So I'm going to play you a little bit of this Kyrie Irving, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. And I'm talking about Born from 1981 to 1996. That if we don't get our stuff together and start making a conscious effort to change the ways of living out here, we will be doomed. If we keep living the same lifestyle that we looked at when we were kids and saw like, oh, this... This is popping. Oh, this is nah, this is this is one of the people I need to follow. Like, think about social media in general. Like, you guys are just we're just following. And I say you guys, no, we are, we are just following people. We're just following people. That is a level of influence that's that can be dangerous if it's not poured in the right places. And keep including holding me accountable. Be better. We're not letting this world get away from teaching our kids something that don't belong in them. No. No, we're not. No, 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 no. We're not letting this system teach our kids what they try to teach us and tell us that this is this is the way that the world goes. No, it does not. No, it does not. That's not the way we want it to go. So from 1981 to 1996, my generation, I am one of the responsible individuals that's calling on us to be better. We're having kids, bro. Come on. We're having kids out here. And they want they want me to be on here talking about the same things that I do here all the time. But look, I'm I'm too politically seasoned. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I'm too politically seasoned out here because that's the way I grew up. I grew up in this political system, understanding that power plays all the time. But the real power is when you follow the green. And the green is something that gets defined by all these people that are playing out there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The green, the money. But while we're building our own, we have to just be aware that this is part of our conditioning and brainwashing that happened to us. So until we break free out of that, we're still going to see this world as what it designed to be. But in order to design something better and new in you, got to start with diet, got to start with education. We have to start with ourselves, our spiritual systems. We have to we have to let go of the old mold of being human in this world. Yo, look at the look at the seven the sixteen hundreds, the seventeen hundreds, the eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds, the two thousands, and they're over here telling us that, oh no, you know, like it's getting better. No, it's not. No, it's not. Y'all saying it's getting better. No, it's not. We have kids picking up weapons and performing acts of violence. We have kids that are angry and depressed and don't know how to let their feelings be known. We have kids that are dealing with real, true, raw emotions and they're going and they're running to social media to vent.